The second matter we want to remind you of is the regarding the wearing of makeup. The wearing of makeup. Of course, uh, women, they can adorn themselves, alhamdulillah. They want to look nice, it's okay. Okay? As for wearing of makeup, the ulama, they have different opinions. And some of them from them, Shaykh Al-Uthaymeen, Rahimahullah, he mentioned that first that makeup should not be harmful. You cannot use products that are harmful to your skin. Because it is forbidden to harm yourself, to afflict any harm to yourself. It's forbidden. So you be careful. And, and you know, you can Google it now. We have technology, alhamdulillah. Your parents can assist you if you're still young. But if you're a teenager, you're 17, 18, 19, 16, and you want to put makeup on, at least read about it. Those products that you're going to put on your fresh skin that Allah has given you and command you to take care of it. Some of them are very bad. They, 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 they have a long-term evil consequences and bad consequences on yourself, on your health. But if those products are okay, they don't cause no harm, then once again the mashayikh, they say, you shouldn't use them in a way that the, the disbelieving women use them. Because you shouldn't imitate them. You shouldn't imitate them. And you, you're still young, you, you're not married, so why you want to worry about this? If you're not married yet, you don't want to worry about this. So worry about beautifying your hearts. Okay? That's the real beauty. The beauty of the heart with taqwa, with Quran, with ikhlas, with sincerity. That's the beauty. Whenever you stand in front of the mirror, and you look at your face and you start thinking about what mascara I'm going to use and what this and what that. Look beyond that mirror. There is another one that you should see. In which you can see your heart. In which you can see your heart. What is the condition of your heart? Alright, if your face look the way you want it to look. Are you neglecting your heart? That's the main important point. That your heart is clean, is pure. Allah tells us in the Quran, يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ The day when no wealth and no family members would be of any benefit except the one who brought a pure heart. Naam, you can Beautify yourself, you can do your hair in a way as long as it does not resemble the ways of the kafir women. And keep in mind, if you do this and beautify yourself, it is not permissible for you to come out your home with those things and show them makeup to other men. It is not permissible for them to see that. You see, you cannot adorn yourself with these things and go to school or go to the market or go to even come into the masjid. You can't do that. Now, the women, her adornments are to be shown to her mahrams, for her family, like her father and the like, and her husband when she gets married. Other men, no, they don't see nothing. And Allah tells us in Surah An-Nur, and not to reveal their adornment except for their husbands, except to their husbands. Now, another point regarding makeup and, and wudu and ghusl. This makeup we're talking about and the wudu. Because you're a Muslim, eh? you're supposed to make wudu for salat and ghusl. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the interpretation of the meaning of what Allah says, O you who believe when you intend to offer a salat, the prayer, wash your faces and your hands, forearms up to the elbows. Rub by passing wet hands over your heads and wash your feet up to the ankles, meaning including the ankles 
and also in the arms including the the elbows it is says in al-insaf among the conditions of wudu being valid because if your wudu is valid alhamdulillah that's good for your prayer but if the wudu is the wudu is not valid even if you pray and read surah al-baqarah in the first rak'ah and ali imran in the second one still you got no salat if the wudu is not valid so for the wudu the ulama they says for the the conditions among the conditions of wudu ablution being valid is removing anything that may prevent water reaching that part of the body al-imam al-nawawi says if there is any wax dough or henna as you know etc now from that also makeup some makeup nail polish and the like prevents water to touch those parts that should be washed in wudu if anything of this prevents the water from reaching any part of that limb then that wudu is not valid whether there is a lot of that or a little and if there is any trace or color of henna left on the hand etc but but not the henna itself or there is a trace of fat or oil such that when the water touches the skin it will run over it but not say then this wudu is valid inshallah now regarding fourth point regarding nail polish and wudu okay because i know some girls they want to put nail polish and this and that and of course putting nail polish you shouldn't imitate the kafirat now you know how the kafirat put on fake nails can do that not only fake nails you don't know where they come from and some of them have pictures on them and you will spend four or five hours to just fix them and do you have all that time why don't you spend that time with your mother telling her how much you appreciate what the things she she does for you spend a little bit of the time with your father telling him how you appreciate or your stepfather stepmother your uncles your grandparents that take care of you your siblings reading quran listening to a, a class of tawheed aqidah and the like Sheikh Muhammad bin Salih al-Taymin says making herself beautiful for her husband is one of the things that a woman should do. The more beautiful a woman looks for her husband, say for her husband, not for the people in Walmart, all right, or people in the streets, or the dentists, yeah, or the doctors and the nurses in Grady Hospital. No, for her husband when she get married. The, the more a woman looks for, uh, uh, makes herself beautiful for her husband, the more that will make him love her and that will create harmony between them. Okay? And this is one of the objectives of Sharia, he says. 